Hey all you cool cats and kittens, Mr. Bridgman here with some exciting news for you. What if I told you that you can make money at home just by doing your homework? Would you believe me? Probably not. And this is an example of something called clickbait. Now, with all of us spending more time at home on the computers, we're more susceptible to threats on our computers. One of these ways that people try to get access to your information or for you to click on their sites is by using something called clickbait. Um, and we're gonna be talking about that today in our computer lesson. So sit back, relax, and I'm gonna show you a couple examples of what clickbait is. All right, boys and girls, you're not gonna believe this. But today's lesson is going to be about clickbait and how you can avoid it. Now, with everybody being online a lot more, uh, you're probably coming in contact with uh, more and more of these articles that pop up, especially during social media. So if you have a social media account like Snapchat or Facebook, these articles are always popping up. And the goal of them is to get you to click on them no matter what. Um, and sometimes they're, they're real and sometimes they're not. They're used to get your information or to infect your computer with something. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. So we're going to talk about something called the curiosity gap. We're going to explain how clickbait uses the curiosity gap to get your attention. Uh, and then we're going to talk about how we can avoid clickbait. So first and foremost, let me show you some images here and <clears throat> think about which one of these you guys would click first. So go ahead and play that video game. It might actually be good for you. You should never brush your teeth without this trick. 80% of kids love cupcakes. New study shows why. You won't believe this. The children's story that's actually true. So, each one of these is a attention getting headline. Um, you just have to think about why it gets your attention. The reason for that something called the curiosity gap it's the desire for every person um, which has to figure out missing information so <clears throat> so uh, what clickbait does is it actually uses the curiosity gap to get you to click on it and clickbait's an image or headline that tries to get you to click on it usually for advertising purposes so again it could be something totally unrelated and then when you click on it it can take you to a website um, just so that you get there just so they can get those um, visits and just so they can get those views and what those websites do in turn is then they uh, talk to their advertisers or their sponsors and then they say look how many people have clicked on our website and it's usually uh, trying to get you in using false uh, reasons so <clears throat> here's how you can avoid clickbait so there's three different clues that you want to look for. Number one, it usually seems impossible or unbelievable. For example, you think your cat loves you, it's actually plotting to make you sick. So if you read this headline, it sounds pretty unbelievable that an animal's actually plotting to make you sick. So that would be one clue not to click on the link. Um, the second clue is it really tries to shock you. And it can use phrases like, you won't believe this or the answer is genius now a lot of times these pop up with um, ways for people to lose weight or ways for people to be healthy or ways that you might be in danger for example uh, you won't believe this by eating this food um, you could lose 10 pounds in a day so one way it tries to get you to click on is to shock you now again when Clickbait tries to get you to click on a website. It's not necessarily going to lead you to the answer to these questions of these articles, uh, but it'll lead you to a website just to get you to click on it because clicks mean money for these websites. So clue three, um, it refers to a celebrity or popular topic. Kylie Jenner talk, talks selfies and bubble tea. You won't believe what she says. Again, your curiosity gap uh, is telling you to, or making you want to see what she says um, so these are three different ways that clickbait will try and get you to click on something and again you want to definitely avoid that because it could take you to a website that is malicious or spammy 
Um, it's trying to get your information um, or spreading a virus to your computer. So <clears throat> we care about everybody's privacy and you don't want to get anybody's personal information taken. Um, so this is just one example of how you guys can be safe on the internet by avoiding that clickbait. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this slideshow. Now that you guys have just watched a slideshow on the Curiosity Gap and clickbait, I want you to tell me why it's important to avoid clickbait and some of the things we can look out for to make sure that we don't actually click on anything that could infect our computer with spam or malware or could possibly steal any personal information from you. So please enter that in the question below and hit submit and that'll be all you have to do for this week. Bye guys, stay safe and I hope we get to see you real soon.